So where have you brought me to this time, Kevin? Just up a small hill. This up time. a little hill, yeah. did you? Yeah, we're at. Um, <laughs> we're on the. Uh, well, let me just look over there. The Suston Pass. Is that right? Yeah, a place called uh, uh, Gandon. I'll go and take a picture of the sign in a minute. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, actually two thousand two hundred and twenty meters. Yeah, yeah, I'm measuring it in degrees centigrade. Yeah, Kev. and it's about ten degrees. Yeah, it's about ten yeah. degrees. I'm shivering, and that's yeah. the first time in months. Yeah, that we, we've been shivering. We're used to uh, temperatures of around thirty-five, yeah, 34, plus. 36. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, strangely enough, when we're coming through the tunnel just down at the bottom of the mountain, yeah, um, the long tunnel, the sixteen-kilometer tunnel, it was uh, thirty-two degrees. Yeah, in there, in the middle. This is Route 11, um, yeah. which is the uh, 39, which yeah. um, the Caravan and Motorhome Club satellite recommended the Route 30, which is further down and it takes you uh, way around this mountain. We've come through the pass, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I wouldn't do it with the caravan, but certainly with Smurf and, uh, and your van here. Oh, yeah, I mean, Not the, problem, nice really. and steady. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. No problem with the vans right. coming up. And there's a bit of snow, but yeah. there's no skiing yet, is no, there? No, there's no skiing. But the, the, no. This is one of the hostels, isn't it? Yeah. I'll yeah. show you that in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, uh, we, might, uh, we might get the drone up. Ooh, that'd be good. And, uh, I'll go yeah. get the drone ready. Yeah, um, you do that and I'll take I'll a few I'll do a check shots. on the app anyway and make sure it's safe to fly. Yeah, and, there's a little uh, bit of a breeze. There is a bit of a breeze, yeah, yeah. but I just want to take a shot over the vans, really, that's yeah. all. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, here we are, look, standing behind the vans, and the view across here is spectacular. The girls have just walked down here with the dogs and down to the lake. And I think Oscar and Sophie had a little drink from the cold lake water. Uh, somebody down there with a transporter parked up. But what a fantastic view. Just give it a little bit of a zoom in. That is amazing. It's a little bit of a breeze. I hope you can hear me above it. Uh, there's one or two posh cars up here. There's a Corvette, look. And uh, just now there's a Ferrari, big red Ferrari went past. So uh, people getting their th fix from this beautiful road. Just here, and um, behind here, there's um, there's uh, looks like a cafe or restaurant uh, just behind here uh, on the hill. And then behind, if we go directly behind the vans, you can see the hostel where the skiers, no doubt, skiers stay um, uh, up there. It looks like a lot of that is closed at the moment. Right, so Kev's got his drone out. This could be interesting. You're gonna fly into the wind, Kev. I'm just doing a flight check. Doing a flight check, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah see, I'm not a yeah. drone pilot myself, so it's all new to me. Yeah, confirm. Yeah. Checking it's safe to fly. Well, it's up. Yeah, I don't want to lie just because the van 
The flight has concluded. The drone is back safely. Kev smiling. I'm shivering. <laughs> but smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling. I'm hoping I'm hoping we've got some footage. Yeah. Here. We don't need much. Um,
to Jungfrau campsite in Switzerland in, uh, near um, Interlaken and uh, we're here for four nights it's a beautiful place we had a really warm welcome here on arrival um, the reception the lounge the bar the restaurant and the uh, little cafeteria area outside is open again today um, let me show you, it's really nice. Well, the girls have made themselves comfortable out on the patio. <laughs> Yes. No. How nice is that? It's quite relaxing. Yeah. How lovely. We're just outside the lounge. This is the lounge here. We can go and read a book. <laughs> We've just arrived at our camp in Switzerland and we're really excited because it's like we're in the French Alps, we have a river running down the back, which is great, but we've underestimated the temperature. It's going to be minus five and snow on Saturday, so we're going to find a shop tomorrow to buy some warmer clothes. Um, we have electric and a tap, and apparently the water's drinkable on site. Oh, look at this! Wow! Look at the scenery! It's absolutely fantastic! Look at it! And I can hear the bells and the cows, which is what I wanted to see. And you can see just about in the distance that that mountain's got snow on it. And then you can, can't really see through this tree very well. Might just be a sea. There's a cow. There's cows wandering around, and you can hear the bells. There's a shower block, which is just a little way down the corridor, down down the road there, not corridor. And then if you walk <laughs> further down that way, there's another another toilet block. So the other toilet block, which is nearest to us. Is just down the end there. There he goes. Oh, he's got the cargo this time. Looks like a, a string hanging below. <laughs> it's obviously a cable or a chain. 